Good evening. It's my privilege again to be with you and share the update on Reliance's performance in the last quarter. This also has been a quarter of several records and an outstanding performance. In terms of numbers, our revenue this quarter was 1,41,700 crores, up nearly 56% year on year. Our segment EBITDA for this quarter was over 21,000 crores, up 51% year on year. And we had the highest ever consolidated net profit of 9,459 crores, up 18% year on year. Our consumer businesses continue their strong growth and now account for over 21% of consolidated EBITDA. As we look back over this quarter, the three pillars of earnings growth in this quarter were petrochemicals, geo, our digital services business, and retail. Let me start with petrochemicals. In petrochemicals, in this quarter, we had an EBITDA of over 9,200 crores, up 82% year on year. This was on the back of production of 9.2 million tons, up 33% year on year. So clearly we had a very strong volume growth coming on the back of the commissioned projects. But equally importantly, we had margin growth and EBITDA margin at 22.9% was up nearly 300 basis points year on year. Clearly, we are seeing the benefit of new projects. We are seeing the benefit of bringing projects at the right time in the cycle. And we are seeing the flexibility in feedstock across our portfolio of cracking. And in this quarter, we benefited from light feed cracking. Our refining business, another very satisfactory quarter with GRM at $10.5 per barrel, slightly lower than the previous quarter. Still a very strong outperformance relative to Singapore complex. This quarter was marked by slightly soft, light distillate cracks, stable middle distillate cracks, and strong solids prices. Our retail outlets continued to see strong traction, and our volume of gasoline is over 25% higher than last year. In our upstream business, we saw higher revenues and higher EBITDA coming out of primarily out of higher oil prices. We have now started work on the project to monetize KGD6 gas resources and our CBM production stayed steady at 1 million cubic meters per day. Geo had another outstanding quarter I'll talk about that in more detail later. But our subscriber base as of June 30th was in excess of 215 million. We have probably the highest customer engagement in the industry at about five hours every day. We carry 76% of all the 4G data traffic in India. And we probably have the highest ARPU in the industry, which is just about rupees 135 per month. Our retail business continues its hyper growth trajectory. Turnover of nearly 25,900 crores in this quarter, 2.2 times what we saw last year. Record EBITDA of over 1,200 crores, over three times what we saw a year ago. We are growing while keeping EBITDA margin constant or expanding. And in our retail business, we truly have unparalleled retail presence with over 8,500 stores, presence across more than 5,200 towns and cities, and over 18.6 million square feet of store space. Let's look at the financials now. Revenue in this quarter consolidated was 1,41,700 crores, up. 9.7% quarter on quarter. PBDIT at 22,450 crores, up 8.6%. The revenue growth clearly came from higher oil prices as well as higher volumes out of our petrochemicals business and the revenues from 
our consumer businesses, both retail as well as digital services. Higher EBITDA is a function of better margins in our petrochemical business as well as increased contribution again from our consumer business. Our depreciation charge was 6.6% higher at 5,173 crores with the commissioning of new projects. Interest costs at 3,550 crores were 38% higher than the previous quarter, again because of commissioning of new projects and net profit was 9,459 crores. Return on capital employed has been improving quarter after quarter for the last eight quarters and consolidated return on capital employed for this quarter was 13.3% and standalone return on capital employed adjusted for CWIP was in excess of 25%. When we look at the EBITDA across all our businesses, the top three contributors in this quarter were Petrochemicals at 9,211 crores, contributing 44% of consolidated EBITDA. Refining at 6,131 crores, contributing 29% of EBITDA. And digital services at 3,171%, contributing 15% of our consolidated EBITDA. Let me now talk about each of our businesses in a little more detail. In refining, as I said, uh, EBITDA at 6,131 crores, GRM at $10.5 per barrel compared to $11 per barrel in the previous quarter. Slight softness in the markets led primarily by gasoline. On the other hand, as far as crude sourcing was concerned, Arab light heavy differentials were slightly wider. Brent Dubai was roughly the same. The slight weakness that we saw in gasoline is a function of higher inventories across the globe and some exports out of China coming out of low growth there. As far as the macro is concerned, we continue to see 2018 being targeted at 1.4 million barrels of oil demand growth with predictions of similar growth in transportation fuels as we saw last year. The Growth in emerging markets, non-OECD countries dominate the transportation fuels. As far as diesel is concerned, we saw stable margins, roughly $15 a barrel, both in this quarter and the previous quarter. Diesel demand continues to be strong across all regions and 